All right, what we have here is a assignment where we're going to complete some transactions in the accounting equation. We have six transactions. The accounting equation is right here for you. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And we have all of our account titles filled in as well. We have three asset accounts, cash, supplies, and prepaid insurance. We have one liability account called the Fleet Supply Company. And we have our owner's equity account, which is Tara Johnson Capital. Your six transactions are here that we will be completing in this table. First thing I should do is put in my name. After that, I'll just go on to in transaction number one. Now keep in mind that each one of these transactions that we do, for each transaction, your assets needs to equal your liabilities plus your owner's equity. Your balances should also always be in balance it's with the accounting equation. Your assets should always equal your liabilities plus your owner's equity. So in transaction number one, the owner invested $5,000 to start the business. So the first thing I need to do is determine which two accounts are going to be affected. So the owner is investing $5,000, which is going to increase my cash account. So I'm going to have an increase of $5,000 to cash. And for every transaction, there always has to be at least two accounts affected. So I can't just have an addition to cash and nothing else because the accounting equation would not be in balance. I'd have $5,000 worth of assets, but nothing on the right-hand side of the accounting equation. So since the owner is investing the money to start the business, the owner has financial rights to that money that she's invested. So I'm going to have a $5,000 increase to my Tara Johnson capital account. My accounting equation is in balance. My assets equals my liabilities plus my owner's equity, so I'm good. I'll just update my balances. So I had no previous balance in cash and I added 5,000, so my balance is now 5,000. Supplies is still zero, prepaid insurance is still zero, the fleet supply company is still zero, and Tara Johnson Capital is now $5,000. So that's it for transaction number one. On to number two. In transaction number two, I paid $500 cash for insurance. So since I'm paying cash, I can assume that's going to decrease my cash account. So I'll put in a negative 500 for transaction two in cash. Excel's formatting will probably just change that to a number in parentheses for you, which means that it's a negative number. That's fine. Uh, so I have a minus 500 to cash and I'm buying insurance, so I'm going to have an increase to insurance. So I'll have a plus 500 to prepaid insurance. Um, again, check to see that your accounting equation is in balance. I have a negative 500 in assets, canceled out by a positive 500 in assets. So my assets is zero and my liabilities and owner's equity are also zero. So my accounting equation is in balance. I'll just update my account balances. I now have $4,500 in cash. Zero in supplies, $500 worth of prepaid insurance. I have no liabilities, and Tara Johnson Capital is worth $5,000. Transaction number three. In transaction number three, I bought $300 worth of supplies on account from Fleet Supply Company. So, I am buying $300 worth of supplies on account. Uh, this... Since I'm buying on account, I am not using cash today. Buying an account just means that I'm receiving the supplies today and I promise to pay them at a later date. So I'm buying $300 worth of supplies. So my supplies is going to go up by $300. And since I'm buying them on account, my liability to the fleet supply company is also going to increase by $300. Uh, my accounting equation is in balance because my assets are 300, which equals my liabilities plus owner's equity, which is also 300. I'll update my account balances. I now have $300 worth of supplies, still have $500 in prepaid insurance. I now owe the fleet supply company $300, and Tara Johnson Capital still has $5,000 in it. Transaction number four, I bought $50 worth of supplies with cash. Now, as opposed to the previous transaction where we bought them on account, this time we are paying cash right at the point of sale. So since I'm spending cash, my cash is going to decrease. So I'll have a negative $50 to cash. And my supplies are going to increase by $50. So again, every transaction, my equation needs to be in balance, and every transaction should affect at least two accounts. I have a negative 50 to cash, a positive 50 to supplies. That equals zero and I have zero on the right-hand side of my accounting equation as well. I just need to update my account balances. Cash now is 4,450 in it. 
supplies has 350. Prepaid insurance stays the same. Fleet Supply Company stays the same. Terra Johnson Capital stays the same. Transaction number five. In transaction number five, the owner withdrew $1,000 from the business. So since Tara Johnson has a financial right to $5,000 worth of the assets in her business, she can take money out of her business to spend, on her, for, spend for her own personal use. That's what's happening in this transaction. So she's taking out $1,000 worth of cash. So that's going to decrease cash by $1,000. So a negative 1,000 there. But it's also going to decrease what she has the financial right to in her business. So we're gonna have a negative 1,000 to Tara Johnson Capital. So my accounting equation is in balance. I have negative 1,000 on the left, negative 1,000 on the right. Update your balances. Cash is now a balance of 3,450. Supplies is not changed. Prepaid insurance is not changed. Fleet Supply Company is not changed. And Tara Johnson Capital decreases by 1,000. Final transaction here, we paid $150 on account of the Fleet Supply Company. We owe them $300. In this transaction, we are paying off half of that. So we're paying half of what we owe in that liability. So we're paying cash for this. So that's going to be a negative $150 to cash. And we are also going to decrease our liability, decrease what we owe to the Fleet Supply Company by $150. So I have a negative $150 on the left-hand side of the accounting equation and a negative 150 on the right hand side of the accounting equation. I will update my balances. So cash is now 3300, supplies is still 350, prepaid insurance is still 500. My liability to the fleet supply company has decreased by $150, so that is now a balance of 150 and Terra Johnson Capital remains the same. So I mentioned uh, during each transaction your accounting equation needs to be in balance. Your balance should also um, be in balance with the accounting equation. So if I want to check that, I can just add up my assets here at the end of these transactions. And my assets equal to 4,150. That should also equal what I have on the right-hand side, right side of the accounting equation in liabilities and owner's equity, 4,150. So my accounting equation is in balance. So this is an example of how you would record transactions in the accounting equation. Uh, you'll have an assignment similar to this for you to do at the, in the uh, Unit 3 content. Thanks for watching.